So I created my fancy basket and made beautiful velvet diamond eggs to fill it, creating a unique centerpiece for my table. So in today's show, I'm dressing my Easter table with all of my creations. And I'll also show you how I made these diamond bunny face napkin rings coming up next. So to dress my table, I'm starting with a champagne colored tablecloth and a smaller white tablecloth on top of that. Next, I'm adding a large table runner that I made using four Dollar Tree table runners and burlap ribbon that I put together. On top of the table runner and the center of the table, I'm placing this large round silver platter. I got this from Goodwill for about $5. It was really tarnished and I just polished it up and it always looks beautiful on my table. On each side of the platter, I'm placing two tall silver candlesticks. I got these from the at-home store. My Easter basket filled with my royal eggs will go right in the center of the platter. Click on the link above to see how I made the satin basket and my velvet diamond eggs. And underneath, I'll put a few pretty eggs on display and these glass tea candle holders. Next to my tall candle, I'm placing a small silver candlestick holder topped with a diamond egg. For my place setting, I'm using this beautiful gold charger plate I found from Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna top that with a Dollar Tree gold rim plate and gold rim bowl. To match my centerpiece, I decided to use silky satin burgundy napkins. You can get about 50 of these online for $25 on Amazon. I'll leave a link for that. And I'm dressing these up with my diamond bunny face napkin rings. And I made these using the leftovers from my eggs in my basket. Let me show you how easy it was to make this. To make my napkin rings, I'm using large assorted shaped diamond gems, diamond wrap ribbon, small diamond heart stickers, diamond vase fillers, silver wire 20 gauge, small crystal beads, silver and pearl beads. And I'm using a hot glue gun with Gorilla Glue Sticks. Okay, so I have this large tub of shapes, gems, that I've used over the years. Um, it's $15, but it's well worth the money because I've used it for lots of projects. And I pulled out some shapes that I think I could use to make my bunny face with. I'm using heart shapes, and I'm using these... Um, diamond egg shapes I think I could use for the ears. So I think I'm going to use a upside down heart shape for his head, for his face, and I'm going to take some um, diamond stickers. I got these from Dollar Tree. I'm going to use a heart shape um, diamond sticker and I'm going to use this for his mouth, for his teeth, two little buck teeth at the bottom. So I'm going to put some hot glue using Gorilla Glue Sticks. And I'm placing that right at the bottom, right in the center, so that it extends just a little bit below the, um, the heart. So that it looks like there are two little buck teeth extending below, right in the center of the two little bunny cheeks. Next, I have these diamond vase fillers left over from my project, and I'm going to use this diamond for his nose. So I'm going to glue that right above his heart-shaped buck teeth, right at the point, and now I have his little diamond nose. For his eyes, I'm using the leftover strand of diamond wrap, and I'm just going to cut two diamonds out of that two drops of hot glue where the eyes would go and I'm gonna just stick that those two eyes right above the diamond nose 
And don't worry about the string from the strand because to me it looks like pretty bunny eyelashes. Now for my bunny ears, I'm going to turn my bunny face over. I'm going to put a line of hot glue right at the top where that point is. I'm going to glue my bunny ears from the center point at a slight angle outward. I want to make sure the two pieces are right in the center. I'm going to turn that face up and put that on the surface so that it lays flat. Make sure my ears are centered correctly. I'll let that dry and now I have my little bunny face made out of diamonds. And since I have lots of crystal, pearl, and silver beads from my basket left over, I'm going to make my ring out of the beads that I have. So I'm cutting a piece of wire. This is 20 gauge wire. And I'm just going to cut a piece that I think is uh, big enough to uh, make a ring with. Something about this big with some extra wire on the end so I could tie it. So I'm going to start stringing this with silver bead first and then I'll use a crystal bead and then another silver bead and then a pearl bead. And I'll just continue that pattern until I have 15 beads with the silver bead at the end. So I'm going to Take the end wires and pull them close together so that there's like a maybe a finger um, space in between. Then I'm going to twist the end pieces around itself and cut the excess off really close. Then I'm going to take my bunny head and put a good amount of hot glue right at the bottom of the ears, right in the back. And then I'm going to take my um, ring and the wire part where the gap is, I'm going to press that up against the glue and hold it up so it's upright. And I'm going to hold that in place for at least 20 seconds until the glue starts to solidify. And I'm going to add more hot glue over that wire to sort of sandwich the wire in. And after that's completely dry, I have my crystal and diamond bunny face napkin ring and I had enough supplies left over to make six of them. Now let's finish setting my table. To finish my table setting off I wanted to add some fresh classic spring flowers and I found these beautiful burgundy tulips that went perfect with the setting. So I cut them really short and put them in a small vase and put a bowl on each end of the table. And after putting my crystal glassware down and my silverware, I think my table is complete. So from the front to the back, it looks beautiful at every angle. I especially love this setting because I can keep my fun childhood elements of my Easter eggs and my Easter bunnies, but in a beautiful, royal, adult, elegant setting. Happy holiday decorating, and I'll see you in the next video. Want more detailed instructions on some of these projects? On my Etsy store, for just a few dollars, you can get instant digital downloads of full color step-by-step -step instructions with templates for some of your favorite projects. And check out my Amazon page where you can pick up my multi-surface acrylic metallic paint. Get 20% off now through the end of August 2022 mix millions of colors and create endless home beauty for indoor and outdoor projects. And while you're there, pick up my Book of Elegant Home Crafts Volume 1. With all your favorite projects together in one big beautiful colored step-by-step -step instruction book. You can now get separate e-project booklets and also full color printed project booklets will be available on Amazon. On my Amazon page, you'll see all my favorite crafting tools, 
and supplies used on this show, and you can add them all to your cart for the one-click, fast and easy shopping and delivery convenience of Amazon. I'll be working every day to make crafting fun and easy for you. Follow me at Your House of Home and Your House of Home TV on all social media for extra home, food, and gardening tips.